Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tally and I'm back with another video. So today I'll be doing a how to handle postpartum depression. So guys, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start off by explaining what postpartum depression is, the symptoms that you might receive, the treatments and the findings, how is it that you can seek help if it is that you are going through postpartum depression. First and foremost, postpartum depression immediately happens after giving birth to your child. Even though this is a common trait that might happen in mothers after giving birth, it's also serious. Seek medical help. The quicker you resolve this problem, the better it is for you. This situation can cause you to feel empty, lost, hopeless, and of course the big word, depressed. Don't stay at home and take it lightly. Seek medical help. You understand? Persons oftentimes think that, hey, it's going to be okay, it's going to blow off. I'm going to share a story with you that happened to me when I gave birth to my daughter. I have experienced... You know, hearing crying of my baby, but it wasn't actually her crying. It's like, you know, after I give birth, I hear them cry, but then, like, for example, I was taking a shower and I thought my baby was crying. She was sleeping. When I checked, she was sleeping. So things can happen, things can play with your mind. And at that initial stage, you know that, hey, I need to relax. I need to take a breather. But in the same breath, you need to seek help if it is that you're feeling lonely you're feeling sad once you find yourself locking away from everything you don't want to do anything you don't even want to be around your child who needs you the most seek help you might be experiencing postpartum depression one of the things that i found myself doing after i have gave birth to my daughter i was very emotional i cried for the least and the most things i mean even when it wasn't that serious i got into my feelings i felt sad i felt like everything was falling apart i felt like everything was on my shoulder though i had a great support team it just felt overbearing remember mind you this is my first experience i have no knowledge of giving birth i had no knowledge of raising a child of my own so you know you're gonna feel some type of way you don't you weren't really educated on how to handle these situations when they come across and that's the thing about these kind of depressions you're not ready mentally in how to deal with the problem once it comes because once it comes like you just have to deal with it you have to handle it because guess what someone important that you just pushed out is depending on you so you have to get yourself together i'm not going to say i'm not going to sit here and say it's easy or it's a easy journey and it's something that you can just brush off and move on it's a challenge and that is why once it happened just seek help some persons might say oh i look at my baby and i feel better but things are going on inside that we cannot control we cannot hold ourselves hostage to say that hey this is going to blow off in no time and hey we can't angle this big bad and break. no seek help seek professional help all right so some signs or symptoms or some indicators that you might be experiencing postpartum depression well you if you find yourself feeling sad you're feeling overwhelmed if you find yourself start feeling like you're not worthy start experiencing chronic headache the worst case scenario wanting to hurt your baby not wanting to be around your baby that precious life that you have just let into this world and you don't want to see that baby that's a sign that you're experiencing postpartum depression so we know that postpartum depression exists we know the symptoms of postpartum depression the next question is is there any treatment to this form of condition yes there are now one of the main treatment is antidepressant now to each is his own and based on your condition your healthcare provider or your doctor or physician 
might have to recommend something else for you if it is that you need therapy if it is that you're only available to receiving antidepressant based on your condition then your physician or your doctor will indicate which of them is suitable for you no I wasn't on any antidepressants I did not seek any medical attention because my depression wasn't that severe I can say for sure two therapy that worked well for me was talking and working out meaning exercising so what I did during my phase of experiencing postpartum depression I confided in people that you know were willing to listen to me I worked out listen to music I'm a person who love food so I eat took my prenatals on time I just always wanted to be around my baby I always wanted to be around my family so as I mentioned to each is his own it might work for me but not work for you so what I can say is find something that works for you and once it works for you stick to it work on yourself work with what work with you and the result will be greater once you're going through a new phase in life don't be afraid to ask for help don't sit down and say hey i got this beat your chest 10 different times i got this no always seek help once you seek help you never know sometimes persons might be there wanting to help you but you put up a front or you put up this big barrier or wall like hey i got this i don't need you i can do it no because you see when that moment keep baby start cry you want be they can't get for beard you want eat you can't get for eat you want go you get liquor breeze out you can't get liquor breeze out because listen you did not seek help if you don't ask you're not going to receive you have to ask for what you want now i'm not saying that everybody have a great support team or has the opportunity to have people there to have their back a hundred percent if it is that you are not in the situation or in the position where you can call upon someone and them run to your rescue what i can say take your time take your time if it is that you're not able to relate to a family member a friend there are other profession for professionals out there who can help you speak to someone you never know once you open your mouth and speak up you never know what might transpire now we've come to the end of this video i do hope that this video was very informative i do hope that you found this video helpful and it may answer some questions that you've been wanted to answer or been lingering in your mind and if so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe until next time Bye.